take let's take a look at the rondo. Uh, this is in harmonics, the, the rondo theme. This is the theme that keeps coming again, which gives it the name of it because it always comes round. Uh, it's a rondo. <laughs> So these are the notes that we use for harmonics. Uh, halfway up the string gives us our first. And we just barely touch it. First octave harmonic, exactly one third. Just a really, really quick harmonic explanation here. One third of the way, which also could be here. Gives us a, uh, a twelfth, if you like. Uh, in this case, on the A string, gives us an E. Quarter the way up the string gives us uh, another A. Then, in if we go, it's actually mathematically a fifth, but we just get the feel of it here. And a sixth of the way gives us these notes, so like do, me, uh, do, me, and so. If I do that on the other strings. So I can put those together. Okay, uh, there's... So this is a quarter of the way of the string. A fifth, a sixth, a seventh. I get this extra note here which can be useful as well. So I'm using my thumb. I'm using my first thumb for the for the, the do, if you like, the A in this case on the A string. C sharp, I get with my first finger. And the E with my second finger. I like to keep them close by it, not like this, because once I find them, they'll be more reliable if I keep minimum finger movement. Then, if I use the seventh, it tends to sound a little bit flat. Let's just leave it flat for now. There I'm using the seventh. sort of almost get a perfect scale. Uh, I've got most of the notes I need. So the one I didn't mention yet, an eighth of the string gives us another octave. That's a useful one in this piece, it's used a few times. To get it, I like to leave down the thumb. It just makes it a little bit more reliable because um, being an octave, th this won't interfere with it. That doesn't work if I leave. If I play the fifth and put my thumb down, it doesn't really work. But, but these are both places that will give me uh, a note that's an octave of the open string. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a look at this. I'm going to do it nice and steady. Of what is it, eight bars, ten bars, or something, and then solo passage again.
Okay, so that uh, brings me to the, um, where are we, to the, uh, the theme again, it comes back. <laughs> passage printed here uh, that the solo comes in and in a minor key uh, in bar 60. I'm familiar, more familiar with it in addition that slurs these I think it works quite well. <laughs> three times and then do something different that could be, make it nice and interesting. <laughs> to play all these notes the same intensity. It's just a little bit inelegant, isn't it? So I'm leading on the first one, the first beat uh, of the bar, maybe the middle, you know, the, the middle of the bar, the second beat. Just the middle. The first beat of the bar. Uh, usually, I'm going for something like that. So we had sort of the same thing twice. So the second one, I thought, let's make it a bit less. It's nice to go. Let's really hear the lower note there. It's the on the beat note. It's a little root of. For me, it's not, not such a beautiful, elegant result. Less, less on the upper notes. This is something maybe a little bit different the second time. Uh, good, and then 
minor section comes back again. <laughs> Again, I'll try it again. And then good. So in the theme there, uh, I've got this C coming up. So that's the seventh on the D string, which sounds a little bit flat always. So uh, the main thing is that it works for us. But if we're confident about it, about getting it, we can re maybe lean into the string a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or pull it to set. So this one not adjust up. That's when I when I push it to the side a little bit. It's it's an option. Good uh, two D section. So on. Uh, uh, next team coming in. shot for that C, it really wasn't great, was it? So let's not take that for granted. I'm thinking, this time I'll think first finger is going to move here to what would be the F. Fourth finger should give me that C. Not a difficult note, of course, but, you know, these things don't always happen as as uh, as we hope, so if we plan a little bit better, we'll get a better accuracy accuracy rate. section I think. Sort of an answer to what went before. A little bit more light. It's got an accent. I think it's not aggressive. Maybe more playful. It's nice to go for those first beats of the bar I think. So I was making what came after the first beat. Very, very light. Not so elegant, is it? So uh, we can maybe lean on each of those bars, but again, maybe we, when we've done it twice, uh, it's nice to do something different. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so, so there was a really, really high harmonic. If you worked out all the others, you would find that one as well. Uh, gosh, then this massive leap. <laughs> Okay, uh, gosh, that's, that's one to really practice or ask ourselves if those lower notes should be in the orchestra. I don't know, I don't have an answer to that one. Uh, so let's take this through. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my second finger back to where the first was. On the, for the B, that's a harmonic, but I'm going to cheat slightly and, and just push it a little bit 